Hey there, if you have a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive connected to your MacBook and when you try to copy a file to that drive it bounces back yet you can copy a file from that drive to your computer it's likely that the format is NTFS which is a Windows based format which isn't compatible with Macs now we can just check this by right clicking on the drive here and going to get info just here you can see it's Windows NTFS system. To get around this, what we'll need to do is first off, back up the data from the USB drive because we're going to format it. So grab the contents, you can do a Command C to copy, create a new folder, give it a name such as backup, Then you can paste the items into that folder and just make sure that they are there. Now depending on how much data is on that drive will dictate how long you'll have to wait. But once that's done, we'll go to the next step. Again, we go to this USB drive and if you don't have this, what you can do is go to Go, then Computer, And just on the left hand side, you can see USB drive. Click on it, then right click and go to erase disk. One word of warning before we go any further, please make sure if you have any other hard drives connected to your computer that you disconnect those now. We don't want to do the wrong one by accident. So please make sure. Right, so you can give the USB a name. So I'm just going to call this one Photos, give it a name you like, and we have some formatting options here. I'll quickly run through them. APFS, which is Apple File System. This is the latest and best for Apple devices, such as MacBooks, iPhones, iOS, as it mentions here. This will be the recommended option if you're just going to use it on your MacBook. You also have a couple options here for case sensitive. I honestly wouldn't use that, but you can use encrypted, which will allow you to set a password so if your USB drive has sensitive data, this will be a good option as well. Just make sure you put the password in a safe place. Mac OS Extended is the second option, but is the outdated version, so I would skip that. We now go to two options, one called XFAT and one called FAT. These two options allow you to share the USB drive with Windows. So if you have a Windows laptop or computer, you'll be able to transfer files between the two. And between these two, I would choose XFAT, which allows file sizes over 4 gig and drives up to technically 128 petabytes. But you can go ahead and choose which is best for yourself. Next, we go to Arrays. We click Arrays. And now we can see the drive here called Photos. And let's confirm that we can write to this drive by dragging this photo and on it goes. I hope that's helped you out. Let me know in the comments and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.